Um, I've been feeling weird lately. I don't do much. And I see other people my age, my friends, my peers, living their lives and having these adventures and this success and this fun. And I just feel like lately, for all of March, I've just kind of done nothing. I go to work, I come home, and that's it. And I just, I don't know, I was feeling like I wasn't in the place where I thought I would be by now. But I think I'm in the place where I need to be right now. Hey beautiful bitches! My name is Pauline Autumn Hatton and welcome to my channel. The Lunar New Year has started. It was like Thursday and Friday and today is Saturday. I feel that fresher energy. I have a lot of things that I need to do, like I need to clean up my room. Basically, I'm 21 years old. I have no idea what I'm doing with my life. And, you know, I think that that's fine. I kind of look really cute today, though. Look at my- oh my- wait. Gotta get a better angle for that. I got this yesterday at H&M. See, I don't know what I'm doing with my life, but I've been working a ton lately, so I have money to spend. And I have things coming up that I'm excited about. This is water, because I just washed my little hands. And I got this hat yesterday. It's corduroy. It's corduroy. I have to get Chloe from work at 7.30, and until then, I want to clean my room. Believe it or not, I already started. I don't know if you've seen this on TikTok or whatever, but like people with ADHD have like doom boxes, which is like a bunch of shit that we don't know what to what to do with. So we just put it in a box. I have doom piles. My whole room is a doom pile, but it's so cute. Also, my Taylor Swift merch came yesterday. Finally, my red merch. I got this poster. Look at it, written and directed. By Taylor Swift, sorry, so you think Dylan Ryan Taylor Swift? Like, <laughs> let me show you my Taylor Swift merch. Okay, just like, please let me show you my Taylor Swift merch. Okay, so it looks like the book, but it's a journal for me to write my most personal thoughts and feelings in. <laughs> Maybe I'll write like my own scandalous love affair stories in here from my own personal life, because you know, because you know, I have so many. And it's so big, it's so comfy. Like, look, look, it has all this thing on the head. Came with a stain on it. <laughs> I'm not complaining though. Like the fact that I got it at all just like brings joy to my heart. So I'm going through all my clothes, figure out what I want to get rid of. I already have um, a bag of clothes I'm giving away here. I'm getting rid of this tank top for a very specific reason and I wanted to tell you about it. It's because when I was in acting school, we did this thing called jury where we like did a monologue for a panel of people. I don't even know, judges, whatever. I wore this with a with a brown hoodie. I thought it was cute. I thought it took the vibe. And one of the notes I got back, <laughs> one, of the, one of the people was like, the top is fine, not very flattering on her though. So I'll never be wearing it again. As the great Big Sean once said, win some, lose some. I write poems that on sticky notes when I'm at work sometimes. Is it a good one? Yeah, it's a good poem. It's a big moment for me. <sighs> Should I get rid of this shirt? I think I've gotten my use out of it. It's sexy though. It's hot. The first boob shirt I had, just like real like slutty top that I <laughs> that I bought for myself. I was like, I'm a big college girl now. I need going out tops. I need my boobs out. 19 year old me bought this top. It has a hole in it. I think I'm done with it. I have such emotional attachment to objects. Like I'm trying to do that. Like if it doesn't spark joy, get rid of it thing. But I'm neurodivergent, so almost everything sparks joy. Slay busty. Oh, get in there. Oh, yeah, busty. I'm making a YouTube video. He doesn't care. Cuckoo. Sure. Did I name her Cuckoo? Uh, we went insurance. to Walgreens. And we got these. Her name is Moni, because she's a monarch. Hey, Always. we want some money. I didn't get the other one, did I? I would die for her. I gave up on cleaning because um, I got stressed out and sad. So I stopped. So I'll finish this tomorrow, but here's the progress. We have a pile of giveaway clothes. That's slightly better, that's slightly better. This is my nightly routine. I like to make my bed, just cause even though I'm about to sleep in it, at least I feel like some part of my life is um. Hot girls have crumbs on their bed. Crazy. This should be pretty. Okay, my nail just lit on fire. My nail just lit on fire. That's the second fucking time I've lit this nail on fire. Do you see how it's smaller than the other one? Because I had to file it, and now I just burnt it again.
I can't do this aesthetically. My nails are too long. Like side morning. But like, this is aesthetic for you guys. Is that the kind of shit that you guys like at your own spot? <laughs> I can't believe I just burnt my nail again. I don't know if that, oh, I probably shouldn't do that. It's burnt acrylic. Maybe I shouldn't talk on it. Am I stupid? Am I dumb? Something I do sometimes is I just, um, I get it from the candle. I don't know if like that's a, if that's allowed or anything, but going to get the end. Do you see that? My room is so cute. It just needs to get cleaned. She's my pride and joy. That chaotic wall and this wall too. My pride and freaking joy. Good morning, y'all. Ready to take on a brand new day. I just want to like document how far away you are from the thing. It's the hardest drive through to go to. <laughs> She's so far away. She's really far so far. <laughs> Something I've been trying to figure out lately is how to like feel like my gender, even though I'm never gonna look like my gender fully. So it's about learning how to feel the way I feel and see it enough for myself and not care if anyone else sees it which is hard for me but like there's no way to look like a, like it's it's how you feel on the inside like and if this feels boyish to me then it is right right like i wanted to look like a pretty boy today and i just look like a dirty girl <laughs> so attached to femininity and I'm so attached with this idea of being the perfect girl and at the same time I feel like a dude and at the same time I feel like nothing I feel completely genderless so it's really interesting and I kind of don't know what to make of it <laughs> maybe I just resigned to just existing I'm gonna I'm gonna read this cheesy romance novel I'm not gonna clean my room that's just what's in the cards for me today this is what I looked like when I picked up my 16 year old cousin from high school. I feel like I got a glimpse into my future. Like, this will be me as a mom in my little juicy guitar set suit, like for sure. Sometimes it takes us three days to clean our room, and you know what? That's okay. And sometimes we have five day old Chick fil A in our room, and you know what? But that's also okay. <laughs> I just had a full on nip slip. I don't know where I can wear this to. It's super dangerous for a girl like me. I wanna do something with these. Oh, I feel like a little fairy. It's hard to put in jewelry with these nails. Like it really is. I better get a good picture. I probably won't. I probably will. I probably will get the best Instagram picture that's ever been taken. There. We go, my sir. I just had to at least make sure I got some cute selfies with the gray nails. I used to set up my camera, my Canon Rebel T3i on a tripod and take pictures of myself. I could have done that. And it just like seems like a lot of work. I might change though. Like I kind of feel aggressively exposed. I did change. I had a different shirt on. I didn't want to nip slip every two seconds. <laughs> gonna read Anna on the French cast. I should have one of my little Parisian brioche rolls, but maybe I'll just have one anyway. Paris al chocolat. Petty a chocolat. I can't speak French. Cheers. Does anyone actually find me cataloging my boring little life entertaining? Oh, well, the mundanity of it. You know what I mean? I hate how Apple TV does this. I go onto my tab that's already open, and they, I have to reload it because it's not lo reloading. And then I have to sign in. Just keep me signed in. I'm super annoying. I love Dickinson. I love Emily Dickinson. Haley Seinfeld crashes it. It's a fantastic job. Highly recommend. Okay.
And Zoe Kravitz, hello, <laughs> hello. I wanted to take, I wanted to take video footage of the empty movie theater, but it doesn't look like anything on my phone. It actually just looks terrible. Not David playing the new VR arcade game. Are you winning? No, see, like I have no choice. I'm related to him. Like you chose him. You know what I mean? <laughs> Happiness is a butt. <laughs> Absolutely every last drop of every product I ever have. I got this mask as a present like three Christmases ago from Desiree and I'm just now getting to the bottom of it. Later. This is how I unwind after a long and stressful work week. Morning. He's okay. He's okay. It's nice. Why are you me so bad? Why do you want nothing to do with me? I'm allergic to you. And I still want to love you. Ugh. I'm literally ill. And he's the one leaving me. You're such a Taurus, Mitzi. I love talking. I love talking to myself. I love having like a video diary and that's kind of what I want to post on my channel is videos like this and honestly I've gotten to a point where it's okay if no one watches them because I understand most girls that make videos like this started with very structured videos and built their audience and people love them now. No one knows who I am. I like having a boring life. I love my little boring life. I think it served me well. For me, I more enjoy exploring my inner world than the outer one. Most of the time, I find my mind incredibly fascinating and I truly enjoy my own company. I think I was feeling bored by my life and I was feeling unhappy with it. And so I kind of started making this vlog of my very boring, mundane, everyday tasks or whatever to try and romanticize it, to try and make it something. Here's what I was thinking about last night, <laughs> probably like 14, 13. I was obsessed with Teen Wolf, and I was obsessed with Stylus Stalinsky. The reason why Dylan O'Brien <laughs> is one of my favorite actors to this day is because I loved Stylus Stalinsky so much, and so I followed his career, and, and he's an incredible actor. Um, love you, Dylan O'Brien. But I was obsessed with Stylus Stalinsky, like in an unhealthy way, like, wait, what do they call it? Parasocial, parasocial relationship, like as fuck. Like I was like, that is the man for me, this char fictional character. And it's the only time in my life that I saw out <laughs> fan fiction. I'm telling the truth. Like I don't, I don't care. This is just a fact. Like this is just my life. So I read a lot of <laughs> Teen Wolf fan fiction freshman year of high school, <laughs> and it would be the like self insert ones. It would be like Y slash N. There was one in particular that I was obsessed with. I couldn't remember what it was about or the name of it for the life of me. The character in it, I really liked her. And so I said, okay, like, I will adopt all of their traits. I will become Stylus Stalinsky's dream girl. And I genuinely think that my personality to this day <laughs> is a manifestation of that. I got my favorite, some of my favorite bands from that fan fiction. It truly shaped me as a person in my early years. I'm at peace with it. It just is what it is. Do with that what you will. And also, my phone just glitched out. Was it a sign from the universe to shut the fuck up? I don't really believe in signs from the universe, so. Actually, I, I genuinely am done though. I think like it was just like, okay, you're done, right? We'll shut off the video for you, so. Thanks for listening to me. Um, I'll see you soon.